What's up, everybody? This is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you get the information you need right up front. And if you want more, stick around for a step-by-step -step walkthrough. Today, we're going to show you a super easy trick to move your web parts around in the brand new flexible sections in SharePoint. Stick around. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands because I got to use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard. Okay, let's go ahead and get that timer rolling. All right, first thing we're gonna do is gonna click that edit button because you gotta click edit, otherwise you're not making any changes. And we're basically gonna go in here. This is so super simple. So this is a flexible section and I wanna move, let's say this image around. Um, I haven't clicked anywhere yet, but I'm gonna hover over the thing I wanna move and just long press the left mouse button long click on the left mouse drag that puppy where you want it to go then release it when you're done you hit republish ba bam you did that thing all right so now we're gonna slow it down and just talk about this flexible web part or flexible section and moving these web parts around because it can be a little bit tricky now before we get into that please take a moment if you see anything that you like here that's useful please give a like subscribe share with someone who you think might uh, be able to benefit from this your likes your views all of your sharing helps grow the channel and we're almost at 4,000 followers so thank you so much for that now let's get on with the step-by-step -step portion we're gonna go in and like I said, we have to click the edit button. That's the first step whenever we're editing these uh, SharePoint site pages. And we've got the new flexible section going on here. I got lots of stuff in this dealio here you can see. Uh, but yeah, so we're the main thing is talking about moving these around. So yes, if you click on the web part, you're gonna get a little handle here that says move web part, sure. You can do it that way if you're an amateur, but if you're a pro, you're going to just make sure you click out so that you're not on it. You're going to hover over it and you're just going to bear down on that left click. And now you can just drag this puppy around wherever you want it to go. It can be a little bit tricky, but you know, if all else fails, you can still grab the handle and move it around. I'm just joking. You're not an amateur. If you use the handle, that's fine. Uh, but if you want a long click, now see, if I clicked in here and I'm using the handle, right, I'm long pressing, long clicking, I'm clicking and holding, nothing's happening. And I can't move. If I move, I get the little little error symbol there. So I have to click out into, like, nothingness, okay? So I'm not selected on it. Hover over the thing I want to move. Let's say it's this bad boy here. Long press, left click. And now I can drag it where I want it to go. Let us know what you think about the new flexible web part. Uh, what cool tricks have you done? How have you improved your spaces? We want to know in the comments. Let us know what you like, what you don't like. One thing I will say is when I'm dealing with images and trying to put web parts in different places in the flexible section, sometimes I'll click away and then come back and click in and things just jump back to where they were. Let me know if you're seeing that as well. Let me know in the comments. Otherwise, remember, do the very best you can with what you got. And remember, SharePoint rocks, and so do you. We'll see you next time, y'all. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands, because I got to use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes.